This is the um, Casio FX9750 G2. This is a graphing calculator. It's one of Casio's more lower end and budget graphing calculators, but it still has a lot of more modern features that it offers. It's not one of their newer um, color screen models or anything like that, but it's um, one of Casio's more mainstream devices, and it certainly is a one more inexpensive, under $100. You can also find this at um, stores like Office Depot and just around the nation in general. Um, now, you might be wondering, why would I buy a Casio that is also a monochrome display over a Texas Instruments? Now, one of the benefits of this uh, is really that it's it's got a great um, battery life system. Uh, even though Texas Instruments can last you through an entire school year and you'll be fine with graphing calculators, this one can even last beyond a school year. It can last you... Um, way beyond. Standby time for us lasted even a few years, and that's very impressive. However, you will notice that the monochrome display, since this is a graphing calculator, is definitely on the small side. If we compare it to a Texas uh, TI-84 Plus Silver Edition, you'll notice immediately that, uh, if we line up the screens, that the screen is, is smaller, and um, it, it, it's more resembling the scientific calculator with an extended dimension. Um, it definitely plays a little bit of an impact when we're actually graphing things that are more narrow and rather than wide, and it definitely stretches things to fit this uh, screen. But overall, it has all the features that you want in a graphing calculator, including max and min, and you, you can find uh, the window settings, so you can play around with that. And when you're graphing a graph, you can, uh, if you, if you uh, set the settings correctly, you'll find exactly the part of the graph that you're looking for, and you can basically figure out whatever you need to on your math problem. The screen itself is pretty sharp. It's pretty easy to read. It's a matte display. Again, it's monochrome, so it's great for under sunlight because there's not too much glare. Um, we also have the typical function keys below the buttons, including trace, zoom, the window settings, sketch, and the solve buttons for algebra and, and manipulations, and uh, F6. So you have six keys here to take you on the standard functions of this device. You also have the four-way navigation toggle for selecting through different applications and pressing yes or no. Uh, other standard buttons include a shift key, which also doubles um, some features down below here, like parentheses and stuff. Um, you can also find secondary stuff um, either in red, in alpha, or in shift, and those double it up. We also have the number, uh, numeric keypad with parentheses keys, um, x squared exponential, and uh, power functions right here. Those are the basic uh, keys you'll find in scientific calculators even, but they're just for here for your navigation no pur purposes. Um, there's a menu button that takes you to the main menu screen. Now about the keypad, it's pretty risen above the surface. Keys are really large, they're pretty easy to, to uh, feel around and use. Um, but if you notice that the FX9750 G2 series graphing calculator comes with this nice case, um, it's actually one of the smallest calculators, graphing calculators available today. Uh, it's really lightweight, and in addition to having just a really slim profile and having great battery life and small screen, which all add to the longevity of the battery, um, it's really small. If I have my hand here and I cover it up, you can really notice the size of this thing. Um, in comparison to other graphing calculators. Design is also pretty good. This is a USB calculator, like most calculators these days. And the USB is on the top. It's just a mini USB. And for a headphone jack, in case you want to connect this to uh, certain applications Casio is selling um, for teaching, for adding tools, for their programs on computers. Um, it's really easy to manipulate and uh, use the CD drivers and stuff to do that. Um, Again, going back to the buttons, they're risen above the surface. Uh, the sensor device is kind of small. There might be a little cramped in terms of width, so uh, you need to be careful there. And all the buttons are not textured in rubber. They're plastic, and they're a little bit concurved on the... So it's going inside, dipping. The buttons are dipping in the middle. It's interesting. Um, it's fairly easy to use. It can be a little slippery at times. Um, something to take note of. Uh, if we go to the menu key, you'll see the menu. And uh, Casio's menu systems, since this is one of their more original monochrome displays. This is not a very intuitive system. Um, it's still easy to go, and it's still easy to use, And um, but it's not one of those calculators that every single teacher around the nation will be able to know, and if you, especially if you're a student in high school or college, um, not all teachers will be able to help you and aid you in this. Luckily, Casio does provide you with a thick manual that you can find all the solutions to stuff you want, and it's very detailed, it's very in-depth, and it um, works well. But your main menu is basically consists of these six tiles, which consist of a matrices, running matrices, which solving those, we have a statistics, we have a graphing uh, menu, we'll say dynamic, and we also have an equation, conics, recursives, 
a table, and then we have programs. And the programs are basically your extra stuff you want to download from your computer into this device by USB. And uh, we have Link as one of their additional features, uh, which allows you to link two of these calculators together and uh, share, share data and test modes and stuff like that. So this is a 4x3 icon. We can also go down, and it takes you to two more uh, sections, and one of them is memory, one of them is system, just to take a look at your running um, applications and save stuff and graphs currently open. How would we rate this? Well, it's a pretty good graphing calculator. Uh, it's definitely really portable. It's one of the smallest, and Casio is selling it for that. It's inexpensive, relatively simple. It's not universal, but it is really pocketable. It's one of the smallest devices, again, we've seen. You might play an impact on the screen size, but if you're looking for something that the battery just will last very long, something that's fairly complex, something with a lot of support, then this, might, this graphing calculator is a great choice for you. Uh, thank you for watching here at OSM VTX Reviews. This is the Casio FX 9750G2 Series Graphing Calculator.